morning guys so taking my lunch break a little bit early i don't think it's that early like quarter to 12 um because my first visit my morning visits got done a little bit early and my next visit um this afternoon is scheduled so <laughs> i had to take a little bit of an early lunch or I would have had to take a later lunch after my scheduled visit. So that's at level 1230. So I have just enough time to come live to you guys and eat my lunch. So there's something specific I want to talk about. You know, when I said, you know, I'm going to do a live three days a week, I was worried. I was like, how am I going to find something to talk about for under 10 minutes, three days a week? I mean, that's like 30 minutes a week, not horrible. But well, how am I going to figure out what I'm going to talk about? But it's been super, super easy because every day I plan to do a live, which is usually Tuesday, Thursday, and then um, either Saturday or Sunday, depending on how my weekend is going. Um, every day I haven't had a problem. So today I'm going to talk about what I have been doing to help me lose three pounds in two days. Yeah, 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 guys. I know it's probably water weight. It's probably water weight. I had a lot of bloating from really bad nutrition choices. But the results, guys, is about the nutrition. I could work out many hours a day, every single day, and not lose any weight because I've let my emotional eating get out of control. Um, If you have not been following me for a long enough amount of time, you don't know that I struggle for emotional eating, but I have struggled with emotional eating since I was 13 years old. So we're going on 25, 26 years of struggle with emotional eating. So basically most of my life I have struggled with binging, um, eating bad food as reward, as punishment, just using food in every way possible. And that is not what I want to happen anymore. I'm in a parking garage, so if it sounds weird, I apologize. Yeah, I know, scroll brain, sorry. But what have I done these past two days to lose three pounds? Because, yeah, I've been working out, but that is not different for me. You know, I I may not love working out, let's be honest. I may be a health and fitness coach, but I do not love to work out. But when I find a workout that I really, really enjoy, I look forward to working out. I'm not like jumping up and down excited, but I'm looking forward to it. And I do it every single morning just because it helps fight my depression. But guys, your nutrition is going to be 80% of your results. So if you're not getting the results you want, losing weight, getting healthy, changing those test results for your blood work, you probably got to look at what you're eating. Because if you can get your eating in place before you even start a workout, that is even ideal. So what have I been doing, right? I do have been showing my my food sporadically. I just do it when I have time. I show my lunch here uh, after I do this live. But it's simple. It's a mindset program. It's all about plate it and about digging into your emotions of why you eat what you eat. So if you're a binge eater, why do you binge? What triggers that binge, right? And replace that with something positive. So for me, I want to binge on chips. I want to get a soda. I want to do these things. So I don't keep them in my house. I don't allow myself to go into stores. Like I would go into Target to go to the bathroom and then I would get a whole bag of crunchers and eat them. I don't let myself do that, right? And then, you know, I'm killing myself in my workouts. So it makes me not want the bad stuff, you know. I had every intention today. I had a coupon for Noodles and Company. Yeah, I get zucchini and asparagus with shrimp, um, which is not horribly unhealthy in any any strange of the imagination. But so I was going to get lunch at Noodles today. That's what I was going to do. I had a coupon. And I said, you know what? I have the salad, I have this, I have this. I am gonna bring my lunch and eat it in my car because I ate a salad in my car on Tuesday. I ate a salad at dinner yesterday and I've lost three pounds. But you guys, you don't have to just eat salad. That's just because I don't have access to a microwave to warm stuff up, right? This is really what I've been doing. So I'm gonna kind of share you a little bit of like what food groups I'm eating, like what, portions 
but I'm not going to share you what kind of food you're supposed to eat, like the food list, because you need to get the program. Uh, and I have promo codes if you want to try it out, if you have a problem with emotional eating, if you hate measuring, if you hate the, the little colored containers for Ultimate Portion Fix. If that is not your jam, if that is not your thing, we need to chat about To Be Mindset for real. So basically... The most important things about to be mindset is that you're drinking like a ton of water. So you drink half your body weight in water. And before I eat anything, I make sure I'm drinking 8 to 16 ounces of water. Every time before I eat something. Because that will fill my stomach up more. And really, I might not be hungry. I'm just thirsty. Um, so yeah, that is over 100 ounces of water a day. But um, that's one thing that I'm still working on. And then the second principle is veggies most. So most of what you're eating should be veggies. Sorry if you hate veggies. Sorry. But if you want to lose weight and be healthy, you have to eat veggies. Just being honest. Unless you have a medical condition where you can't. And then you need to talk to your doctor about it. But um, water, water first, veggies most. Step on the scale. So yes, I step on the scale every morning as you see. But it's just so I know how what I ate the day before affected me. So if it made me get water weight. It made me bloated. It made me um, retain salt. You know, something that I might be sensitive to. That is what the scale does. It's not for me to beat myself up. It's just a tool. And then track what you eat. So I have an app on my phone where I track what I eat. If I take a picture, I just put the picture in my phone and don't write in there. I just put it in there. Uh, it's a good way for me to track my water, um, me to track my weight. All that stuff is in this app that I use. It's called Nutrition Plus. Um, not an ad. <laughs> so basically what I do is there's, it's a plate it. So basically you take your plate, pour, percentages of the plate is what you eat and the percentages are different with every meal. So as example, breakfast. They say breakfast should be 50% protein, 50% fiber filled carbs you know I'm not gonna tell you what each one if you want to know more message me but I all I always have Shakeology as my breakfast you don't have to I've done egg cups before um, I've done uh, Greek yogurt and fruit before you know there's tons of different ways you can do it uh, scrambled eggs and toast you know there's lots of different if you're not into shakes that's cool I don't require shakes for my groups um, I am a certified to be mindset mentor. So I'm certified in the program to coach you if you are interested in doing it with me. Um, but that's really what breakfast is. It is um, half half fiber filled carbs and half protein. I also have mini babe, mini bell peppers with my breakfast just because veggies fill you up, right? So veggies are extra credit with your breakfast. So your lunch should be 50% veggies, 25% protein, and 25% fiber-filled carbs, right? There are snacks on the program, dinner. I'm not going to share any more specifics. But a really big thing about To Be Mindset that has been saving my cravings is first my Shakeology. You know, if you're not a shake person, that's cool. But for me, it stops my cravings and gives me energy so I don't need coffee. So that's just me. As I said, everyone's different. And then I don't have any carbohydrates after 5 p.m. People are going to say, that's crazy. Why don't you have any carbohydrates? Because for me, it makes me sluggish. It makes me bloated. Um, and that's just me. Again, that's how this program is set up. But, you know, it doesn't work for everybody. But if you are having issues with bloating, if you're having issues with fatigue, if you're having issues with emotional eating, you're binging, you know, you're doing your workouts, but you're struggling with your nutrition, you can't work out, you feel you're too overweight to work out, this program is going to be perfect for you. And again, I have promo codes, I have Amazon e-cards for those that commit this month. So if you're interested in hearing more, if like the things I've described sounds like you, girl, we got to talk. So I hope everybody has a fantastic Thursday. The weekend is coming. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.